This birthplace of America's only native whiskey was a known business hub for notorious bootlegger Al Capone. Whenever one of his preferred hangouts was raided, the mob boss was always one step ahead. Witnesses claimed he'd be there one minute, then gone the next, without a trace. So how did Capone continue his illegal operation for over a decade without ever getting caught? Legend says the answer may lie underneath the city of Louisville. There is rumored to be a secret network of tunnels carved deep below the skyscrapers and city streets that connect several downtown buildings with an alleged mafia escape route to the Ohio River. My investigation starts at Big Al's favorite poker spot and the central focus of tunnel rumors, the historic Seelbach Hotel. So I journey with hotel representative Jim Meyer, two floors below the lobby, to the hotel's sub-basement, where they're said to be located. Well, two tunnels down here. Whoa, look at that. When the hotel was first constructed, these tunnels were built to flush out rainwater from the basement. So they could have connected to a city-wide sewer system that would have offered Capone an escape to just about anywhere. All right, I'm gonna take you down deep into the tunnel. Check this out. But I quickly come to what appears to be a dead end with two blocked entrances. There's two passageways, one this way, and one this way. Both of them could lead somewhere. Hold on. Oh, wow. This one definitely leads somewhere, and it keeps going. I can hear right now. I can feel air coming through. So the rumor that Al Capone came in here, hid his money, hid his booze, could very well be true. But to confirm these tunnels really keep going, I need to use some of the tech I brought with me. First up, the ground-penetrating radar device. The GPR will emit a pulse of electromagnetic energy into the wall. The pulse will bounce back to a receiver, and the speed and strength of its return determines the wall's density and thickness. And almost immediately, the GPR offers solid clues about what's behind this wall. So you can see we're clear as day, there's reinforcement three to six inches. You can see there's rebar in there. The anomalies in the data reveal not only what's inside the wall, but what's behind it nothing. You can also see that there's essentially a gap after nine inches. So it looks to me that this wall is about nine inches thick. And now for the second potential opening. Okay, I'm going to run it on the inner wall. Oh yeah, there we go. This is a very, very thin wall. This is only like two inches thick. There's nothing behind it. If in theory, we could get through this wall. I think we could get to a whole tunnel network. 